وانظر العدل قد شيتت عمارته والجور عندك خزي بيته خرب قم وانظر الكعبة العظمى تطوف بها حشد الألوف وتجث عندها الركب مقيمة الذهب الوهاج عند يدي على السواي لديها التبر والترب لعلى بباب علي أيها الذهب لعلى بباب علي أيها الذهب واخطف بأبصار من سر ومن غضب لعلى بباب علي أيها الذهب وقل لمن كان قد أقصاك عن يده عفوا إذا جئت من اليوم أقترب وقل لمن كان قد أقصاك عن يدي عفوا إذا جئت منك اليوم أقترب لعل بادرة تبدو لحيدرة أن ترتضيك لها أبواب والعتب مقيمة الذهب الوهاج عند يدي على السواي لديها التبر والترب لعلى بباب علي أيها الذهب قم وانظر العدل قد شيدت عمارته والجور عندك خزي بيته خرب قم وانظر العدل قد شيدت عمارته والجور عندك خزي بيته خرب قم وانظر الكعبة العظمى تطوف بها حشد الألوف وتجث عندها الركب مقيمة الذهب الوهاج عند يدي على السواي لديها التبر والترب لعلى بباب علي
ولا بمكة أصنام ولا نصب منذورة نفسه لله ما سجدت لا إلا لربك هام وانطوت ركب كان درب ولا جلد وجلجلة ولا صليب ولا صلب ولا خشب تجسدت كل أوصاف الكمال به بوامض ساعده الإعصار والعطب الصفح والعفو بعض من شمائله وبعضه البر أم من بعضه الأدب محجة الناس أقضاهم وأعدلهم أدق أنفق أدعى فوق ما يجب يصوم يطوي وزهد الأرض ما أطمحه والخل ما أكله والجوع والعشب عشوب لو استغاثت به الآيات كان لها روحا على الرحياء أسخاه ما يهب يذود عن هديات الشرع يعضدها والحظ كالصبح لا تلهو به الحجب هو الوصي على الميثاق مؤتمن على تراث نبي الله منتدب هو الخليفة ما شأن السقيفة إن طغت على أهلها الأغوى والرتب عشيرتك القرب فأنذرها وقال ربك قولا فوق ما طلبوا والخلود ومصباح السماء فلا لا يغيب ما غاب إلا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Zakira Shiroz Jaffer Dalla. 
reporting for Safir TV from the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam in Najaf on the 13th of Rajab. Subhanallah. Biladat Mubarak to all of you who are uh, joining us from all over the world. Please send in your messages of uh, salam to Imam and your hajat and inshallah we will uh, be sure to uh, uh, say them here on air. I have uh, behind me, subhanallah, the dari of uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam and uh, what a blessed day it is today where people from all over the world are uh, flocking to the shrine. Uh, this uh, crowd has been growing for the last three days. Um, I arrived here on the 29th of March and uh, subhanallah, the uh, streets are full of people, the streets are decorated, there are lights everywhere. International uh, visitors, Zaireen, have come from all over the world as well as locals who are uh, walking in from Basra and from the outskirts of, uh, of Karbala, walking uh, with uh, walking without shoes often to come here and to uh, pay their respects to our Imam, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, please accept the love and the uh, hajat of all these lovers who uh, uh, cannot contain this love inside their hearts and therefore they come here to express their love with every part of their body. I don't know if you can hear the sounds uh, of uh, people clapping in the background uh, and uh, women uh, who are uh, reciting uh, Nasheed and Manka, but the Haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam for the last few days has been um, uh, full of such groups, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen who are uh, reciters uh, of uh, beautiful Nasheed and Mankabat and they have all come here from all over the world. We had uh, the greats like Nadim Sarwar and his son and his sons and uh, we had the Pakistani groups gra gathering here in the, uh, in the Haram. We had uh, also other reciters who came and uh, had their Mushaira programs. The, there are various rooms here also that can be booked and so the Zaireen have been booking these rooms to have their uh, Mushaira and Mankabat programs. It's a very festive atmosphere. Uh, there are stages set up not only inside the Haram but also on the streets. It is truly an exciting time to be here and my dua is from my heart that uh, all of you can experience this at least once in your lifetime and in fact every every year inshallah i've uh, just uh, been meeting people here in the um, in the hotel lobby on the streets and in the haram who are coming to uh, uh, speak to me and a few have been saying some amazing things for example i just met sister fatima jafar from uh, london england and i just met her on my way here and she said sister shiros I am here because you prayed for me to be here in the Haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam. I said, uh, really, remind me how this happened. And uh, she said that in December, Sister Sharos, you were here in Najaf and uh, you were on air and uh, asking uh, people to send in their hajat. And I was one of those people who wrote to you and said, please pray for me. And uh, I, with tears, I said, I really want to be in Najaf. And she said, you prayed for me then. And that was December, and here it is, March, and I'm here in Najaf. And she says, I truly feel that when you prayed for me at that moment, uh, the doors of, of heaven opened for me. SubhanAllah. So today we are um, uh, celebrating the birth of a, of a great leader, a great man who was uh, an inspiration and continues to be an inspiration 1,400 years later. Uh, we have our... Uh, Blessed Imam, Imam Ali Amir al Mu'mineen, Abi Talib alayhi salam, who is known as Asadullah al Ghalib, Haider al Qarrar, Imam al Muttaqeen, Dahibab al Khaybar, Amir al Mu'mineen, Abu Turab, Abu al Hassanain, Abu al Aima, Wasi Rasulullah, Wali Allah, Hujat Allahi ala Khalq, Urwat al Wuthka, Mushkil Kusha. And these are such beautiful names with the commander of the faithful being Amir al Mu'mineen. Hujat Allah al-Khalq is the proof of Allah's creation. Uh, Asadullah, the lion of Allah. Here in Najaf, there is a hotel where uh, there is an actual lion on the top floor of that hotel where everyone comes to uh, see this uh, This lion is uh, 
to uh, symbolize the Lion of God, subhanAllah. Waliullah, the Vice Chairman of Allah, uh, Abu al aima is the father of the Aima, Mushkil Kusha, the problem solver, and Imam al muttaqin the leader of the pious people. Inshallah, we're working on getting our internet uh, issues solved so that we can access your messages. I wanted to share with you a beautiful saying of Imam Ali alayhi salam, where Imam Ali has said, I dressed you in the clothes of safety with my justice and I spread for you the carpet of virtue with my sayings and deeds. Imam Ali alayhi salam is saying to us that he has set everything for us, his believers, his lovers, so that we can lead a very pious life. And he was uh, such a muttaqi human being that uh, we truly need to look at his life and learn the lessons that he has um, shared with us and left for us. One of his companions has narrated that uh, once I went to visit Imam Ali alayhi salam and uh, he was eating a piece of uh, very dry bread and, uh, and with a very little bit of milk. And he said, I, I said, Ya Amirul Mu'mineen, how do you live with this scanty food? And he replied, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ate staler bread than this and his dress was coarser than mine. You know, this strikes me as uh, a very beautiful quality that we see in all the Aima and Tahirin Ali Musalam. That whenever somebody praised them, they would say, I am nothing compared to my Imam before me. When Imam Ali alayhi salam praises the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, this bread is nothing. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to have a very stale bread, even more stale than this. Reminds me of how when Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam was uh, praised, but also uh, with concern, people said, uh, Ya Zainul Abidin, O Sayyid Sajjad, you worship so much that uh, your eyes have become sunken, your your uh, knees have um, and your feet have calluses, your uh, your joints are in pain, uh, you haven't eaten, you are truly looking so emaciated. Uh, y you know you need to do a little, a bit less the ibadat than you do because you're gonna hurt yourself. And he replied, "This is nothing compared to the worship of my uh, great grandfather, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam." Subhanallah, brothers and sisters, uh, look at the beautiful uh, uh, views that we're seeing here of the holy shrine. Stages have been set up and uh, lights put up all over the shrine and you see the fresh flowers everywhere. Uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam was a helper of widows and orphans and uh, today in the city of Najaf many um, good deeds of helping the widows and the orphans are being done today in the name of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Today I went to uh, visit uh, the uh, uh, Dar al-Zahra orphanage, forgive me if I uh, I've said the name incorrectly, but it was just such an overwhelming experience, truly, because uh, we visited this orphanage and there were hundreds of uh, girls and boys who were uh, dressed so cleanly, their uniforms, the way they were learning English, the way they were reciting nasheed, the way they would sit in lines and stand and follow instructions. And we uh, brought them gifts as Zyreen. We also uh, entertained them. I did a puppet show, as you know, I uh, do puppet shows. So I had a little puppet with me and we uh, recited a nasheed and the whole crowd would uh, um, uh, reply with Haider, uh, Ya Haider. And it was truly a beautiful experience to see that. And uh, the widows and orphans uh, are truly uh, the, the less fortunate of the world, of the society that Imam Ali alayhi salam used to especially have a soft spot for. And we have countless stories where when he would be passing through the streets of Kufa, uh, as we know, he used to s distribute few food at night, carrying um, bags of food on his own shoulders and going incognito, hiding his face so nobody would know that this was actually Amir al-Mu'mineen, the Caliph, and uh, he would uh, serve people and feed them with his own hands. There's a story where um, he saw this woman carrying a very heavy load and she had four children and he said to her, where is your husband? And she said he was uh, in the army and he fought for Amir al-Mu'mineen and uh, that's why uh, 
I, I, uh, I'm now um, a widow because he lost his life fighting in the army of Ali ibn Abi Talib Imam Ali Salam truly felt a great sadness when he heard that and he carried the women, woman's load for her, uh, took her home, escorted her to her home and then he told her that he would be taking care of the children while she prepares the meal and he played with the children and then he also helped prepare the meal and uh, when uh, somebody saw that they said to her do you know that this is Amir al-Mu'mineen in your home who actually did all this work and she was uh, pretty am she was quite amazed and she said what a humble human being and uh, the things that I said that I must have hurt him and yet uh, he continued to um, be such a kind uh, uh, helper there's also a story of how um, an old Christian um, was uh, seen carrying a very heavy load and he was a very elderly man Imam Ali alayhi salam when he saw him he said why is this man working when he's so old and uh, he, he's, these are his days to, uh, to retire uh, this is a very difficult burden for him to carry and the people um, said that he uh, he's a poor man that, that was when Imam Ali alayhi salam ordered that this old Christian would receive a monthly expense from the Baytul Mal from the treasury of the Muslims and this is how social welfare began. It started a system where everyone in the society who was in need would would get something to uh, to to survive. And especially the elderly were given this retirement, a pension. Uh, we find amazing stories of Imam Ali alayhi salam where he would help the uh, the Jews and the Christians, the non-Muslims. Um, often Muslims are criticized for uh, not being uh, loving to the non-Muslims and uh, with uh, Islamophobia right now this is the, uh, the 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 false notion that is spread that uh, Muslims do not care about non-Muslims and consider them kafir and therefore feel that it is okay to kill them this is definitely not the way of Amir al-Mu'min and Ali ibn Talib alayhi salam definitely not because we have a story where um, Imam Ali alayhi salam was on a trip from Kufa and he was walking and uh, he saw that there was a Jewish man walking as well. So Imam Ali alayhi salam joined him and uh, began to walk with him. And over the, uh, over the uh, journey, they discussed many, many subjects. And uh, there was a friendly uh, exchange and, and a rapport be uh, between them. When uh, the Jew Jewish uh, man uh, said that this is the place where the road forks and I must go this way, so let me say goodbye. Imam Ali alayhi salam said to him that uh, let me walk with you. And so Imam Ali alayhi salam walked with him quite a bit on his on his path. Uh, and the Jewish man said, your, your road is the other way and you have escort me, escorted me so far on my road. Why have you done this? Imam Ali alayhi salam replied, we enjoyed our companionship and friendship and therefore that requires me to escort you to some distance to see you off. And consequently, the man was so inspired by the words of Imam Ali alayhi salam that he resigned himself to Islam and he said, I would... I want to follow this faith that you are uh, that you are leading. I want to become your follower, and uh, I have fallen in love with your your, your qualities. Uh, truly reminds me of the uh, hadith of Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam, where he says, "Call to the people, call to the faith uh, with your actions, um, and uh, and truly uh, not just with your words. Uh, the way we behave, the way we uh, express our love for Allah subhanahu wa taala, and the way we follow the rules of Islam." Uh, should make us such beautiful human beings that uh, people are uh, automatically um, drawn to us. I'm uh, hoping that uh, I, I will uh, see some messages from um, from some of the uh, people who have written to me, but unfortunately, we are having some internet issues. There, uh, there are some poetry uh, that people had written that I wanted to read out here. I'm hoping uh, that uh, with your du'a we can uh, uh, get the internet back so that inshallah we can hear some of these messages that have come um, from all over the world. People uh, have begged and asked that uh, their messages be, uh, be uh, expressed on air. Hasina Nanji from Toronto has written, please remember me. Uh, in your prayers there, Sister Shiroz. And uh, we have um, Iqbal Mankani from Toronto uh, sending his salams to Imam alayhi salam, Zainab Ganawi, uh, Ruksana Dirani. Um, we have uh, Sister Nazneen Muhammad Taki from Toronto saying, Assalamu alaikum ya Amir al Mu'mineen. We have uh, Sister Neelam from Mumbai 
who has uh, said that uh, Wiladate Abu Al-Aima, Amir Al-Mu'mineen, Hazrat Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, salam, Mubarak to you and your family members. May Allah hasten the zahoor of our Imam Zamana, Ajalullahu Ta'ala Farajam Sharif. Bihaqi Amir Al-Mu'mineen, keep us steadfast. Um, keep us steadfast. We have a call from Zahra Alam Dar from London. Zahra from London. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam, sister. Oh, sister. Nice to, uh, nice to speak to you. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm very, very fine here standing in the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Do you see the dhari yeah. behind me? Subhanallah. Uh, send your salams yeah. to Imam Ali ibn Talib alayhi salam. Yes, I would like to send him my salams and uh, thank him for... Uh, you know, inviting me to the path of Ahli Bayt. I'm, I'm a convert. Subhanallah. Yeah, Islam. Yeah, I converted a few years ago. Um, I was very inspired by Imam Ali Ali Salam, his uh, sayings, his, his deeds, just his whole being. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, this is such a beautiful phone call to receive. Thank you, Sister Zara, for sharing your story with us. Yeah. A true lover of Imam Ali yeah. Salam who has come to the faith. Tell us what inspired you. What what uh, um, really did it for you? What what inspired me? Um, well, uh, a friend of a dear friend of mine was, was telling me um, about you know talking about some of the lives of the Imams and. And many years ago, when I saw after the fall of Saddam, mm. many people rushing to the shrine cities, millions of people rushing to the shrine cities of Karbala and Najaf, I, I thought to myself, well, this must be a very important person, something very significant must have happened. Indeed. Um, and from that, those images, those aerial view images of people flooding into the shrine city, I was intrigued and inspired and uh, inspired so much to, to learn about the imams, these saints. And um, mm. ever since then, you know, I started reading and, and studying with some, some very nice scholars here in London and uh, I, I've never looked back. Subhanallah, my dear sister. Yeah. May I ask you what your background is? What were you, um, where are you from? Um, I, was a, I grew up in a Sunni family. I, I come from an indo pak background. I grew up in a, in a regular Sunni family. Mm -hmm. um, and, my, you know, only my parents know that I'm Sunni. Uh, sort of Shia. Only they know that I've converted. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't told the rest of my family. Subhanallah. When did, you, so, uh, when did you make the change and accepted the Vilaya? When did I make the change? About five or six years ago now. But I. I, I was reading for many, many years, you know, it took me time to come to the path. I, I still think I'm in the process of converting, if that makes sense. Subhanallah, there's always um, so much to learn. We, the followers of Ali ibn yeah. Abi Talib, who have grown up uh, in, in, in this, ha are always learning as well. Because there's so much to yeah. learn about him. He's a, he's a wealth of knowledge yeah. and spirituality. So yeah. every day, yeah. you're right, every day we're converting. Every day we're becoming yeah. more and more closer to him and feeling that love yeah. and the, the growing of our hearts yeah. and our, our, our minds too. Thank you so much for sharing your uh, your message, sister. Uh, any hajat that you want to express today to Imam Ali? Yes, um, my hajat is that I am able to continue to raise my children as Shia because I'm taking them along with me, and that um, I'm successful in the work that I do because I've been given the opportunity to serve the Ahlul Bayt quite directly through the work I do, and I want to. Uh, be successful in that um, so that's a really big harder and that my parents one day um, you know accept the wilaya of Imam Ali Ameen, Ameen these yeah. are beautiful du'as sister I pray for you, you, myself here at this holy shrine Thank and ask you. Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, this is your uh, true lover who has come to you yeah. with great difficulty who has searched and seeked yeah. and found your love and you have invited her inshallah please keep inviting her to uh, yeah. to uh, grace this beautiful place heaven on earth Ya Imam, guide her children to also follow in this path 
Beth and her family uh, so that inshallah they will meet you at the pool of Kothar and you can uh, yes. uh, give them all uh, that that uh, thirst quenching water with your own hands yeah That's Amir right. al and I can so, thank them personally I can hopefully hopefully thank them personally for helping me in ways that I, I never knew I could be helped. Ameen, Ameen. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, brothers and sisters, mashallah, please continue to phone uh, in and uh, share your stories and express your salam to Imam Abi Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Uh, we have uh, messages from uh, Khushbu in uh, Mumbai who is uh, uh, saying that uh, congratulations to all the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt on the birth anniversary of the first Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. May Allah give us a chance to celebrate such a blissful day in Najaf -e Ashraf next year. Yeah, Imam. Um, uh, please call us soon, uh, Sister Shiraz. Don't forget uh, uh, me and my sister Karishma in your prayers and our entire families. You are one of the luckiest ones, uh, dear sister, to be standing at the Holy Shrine right now. Uh, Nafisa Shroff from uh, Mumbai has also said you, are, you have reached heaven on earth. Please do not forget us in your du'as. Um, uh, we have uh, Molana Mirza Shafiq Hussain Shafak from Lucknow who ha, uh, has uh, also expressed his salams and love for uh, Mawla Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, and said, please remember him in uh, our du'as and it says, uh, Ya Amir al uh, I am uh, one of your uh, true lovers and uh, someone who uh, has dedicated his life for you and uh, he uh, says that he's an editor of many uh, newspapers and is a uh, is a Maulana he recites Majlis Hussein and asks that all the viewers pray for his halal rizq praise for his children pray for his ability to serve the Ahlul Bayt in the best ways possible uh, we have um, safe in uh, Najaf uh, who has uh, asked that uh, the viewers um, uh, pray for him as well. We have uh, Kumail uh, Kasimali from uh, Mauritius who asks uh, all viewers to pray for him and says, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, Assalamu alaikum, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, Ya Imam, please call me to your shrine. Ya Imam, please help me through all my difficulty to uh, uh, put away everything that is uh, bad for me. Ya Imam, help me to stay on the straight path. Ya Imam, um, give. Uh, healing to my mother who is unwell make me uh, able to make my family proud and to leave all these things that are uh, hurting me and hurting my parents subhanallah beautiful dua uh, we have zaman from uh, edmonton canada who is uh, expressing wiladat uh, mubarak to all uh, in najaf please uh, ask imam to um, invite us as well i uh, have um, uh, muhammad jerry from uh, Lahore who is uh, expressing his love for Imam Ali alayhi salam. he says Ya Ali you are the defender of Islam you arrived in the lap of Sayyida Fatima bint Asad sal uh, alayha alayha, born inside the Kaaba and there was no one before you Ya Ali no one after you till this day has been born inside the house of Allah uh, Muhammad Jari writes, uh, Ya Ali, you are the lion of Allah, the best guard of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, among the creations of Allah. Ali Yadullah, Ali Aynullah, Ali Lisanullah, Ali Wajhullah. Uh, looking at his face is worship according to his own rivals. Ali, the successor of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ali, the purified, which we find in Surah 33, verse 33. Um, Ali, the successor uh, in Surah Maida, verse 55, it says, Ali's love is obligatory, Surah 42, verse 23. Ali is the Nafsa Rasul, Surah Ala Imran, Ali Imran, verse 61. He says, Ali is the receiver of blessings of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we find in Surah 33, verse 56. Ali is the Khilafa, who, who is the obligatory and the true Khalifa. That's in Surah 5, verse 57. And he has written, Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, delivered these famous words Man kuntu mawla fahada 
Ali and Mawla. Ali's succession uh, as Imam of all Muslims completes the religion as we find in Surah 5 verse 3. Ali's sacrifice is recorded in the Quran, Surah 76 verse 7 to 11. Ali is the guide for all Muslims, Surah 13 verse 7. Ali the believer, Surah 32 verse 18. Ali the witness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Surah 11 verse 17. Ali the righteous among the believers, Surah 66 verse 4. Ali the one who preserves the memory according to Quran, Surah 69, Ayat 12. Brother uh, Muhammad Jari, thank you so much for all these beautiful uh, examples and proofs for us. Ali will always remember, remain the gauge between mu'min and munafiq, the believers and the non-believers between haq and batil. Ali came as the helper of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after and became the king of the Muslims after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad Jari from Lahore says, greetings to all the believers on the birth of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Thank you Muhammad Jari from um, uh, from Lahore, Pakistan. Thank you so much. Um, uh, we have uh, Nawa Khan Shahid Baltistani who has, uh, who, who has said, uh, Salaam Alaikum, uh, Ya Ali Madat, MashaAllah, Sister Zakira Shairoz, you are in the harm of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Eid Mubarak to you, my dear sister. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, grant you more uh, success. Please request Mawla Ali alayhi salam to call me and my family as soon as possible. Uh, we also have Nadim Sheikh from um, Jeddah who is uh, saying that please, please, Ya Ali, um, uh, I beg you to uh, take away my difficulties that I'm facing right now. Uh, he has a difficulty with his ikama right now and uh, is in danger of uh, losing his, uh, his job and he's asking that uh, Ya Imam, Ya Imam, please uh, uh, do a mojiza and make uh, this difficulty of mine. Uh, go away. We have Askar Japanwala from Toronto who says Wiladat of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Mubarak to you all. Hashmat Jafri from New Jersey saying um, um, the 13th of Rajab, Rajab uh, Wiladat of Imam uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, uh, Mubarak to all of you. Samir Adam Ali he says uh, says may Allah all of us and our loved ones have Imam Ali's intercession in this world and the next Ilahi Ameen. Ameen. Uh, Yasmin Koja uh, from Toronto sending her dua. Uh, we have uh, Irshad from Toronto, Sahar of Dubai, uh, Ali Barwani from Toronto, Sherbanu from Toronto, and uh, um, Fatima Habib from Dar es Salaam uh, has said, uh, please remember uh, me in your duas. Nida Fatima from Mumbai, Minaz Asir from Comoros Island uh, uh, near. Uh, Madagascar says uh, that uh, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib said Allah tests his worshippers with many different hardships, makes them engage in different struggles and makes them undergo different kinds of misfortunes. All this in order to extract arrogance from their hearts, to establish humbleness in their uh, selves and to wake them to make them open the doors to his grace. This is from Nahjul Balaga, sermon number 192. Thank you, Sister, Sister Minaz Asir, for sharing such a beautiful hadith with us. Um, Hamida Hassan Ali from Nairobi uh, has said that I've been blessed to go for Umrah in this holy month, and uh, I ask Imam Ali alayhi salam to call me. We have uh, Sister Fatima from Canada. Uh, on our phone lines. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam, Shairoz. I'm uh, Ni Maryam's mom, Nilu Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What did you say? Oh, did we lose the line? I think we did. Sister, please dial again. Uh, I think I recognize this voice from Toronto, Canada. Uh, please do call again. We would love to hear from you. Uh, are we back? Uh, Hello, sister. Sarah Merchant and um, Shaheen Merchant from Mumbai ask, uh, please pray for us uh, and uh, call us to Najaf Ya Ali, Ya Imam Ali. Karishma from Mumbai has asked, uh, she says, uh, 
please give my salams to Mola and pray for me. Uh, Sister Sharos, you are so blessed, alhamdulillah. Mola has given you such a big opportunity to be standing at the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam. And do, that too, the first lady who has ever been able to uh, have a live broadcast from the haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Alhamdulillah, uh, I am uh, staying up uh, all the night on uh, Friday and Saturday to give my salams and to listen to your majlis from the haram of Imam Ali alayhi salam. I'm awake right now in Mumbai watching. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses uh, Sister Karishma and through the wasila of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Sister Karishma uh, finds the uh, the prince of her dreams, inshallah. Um, she's asked that uh, she finds love in her in her life and that she uh, marries a lover of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam so that they can uh, walk on the Sirat al-Mustaqim together. Uh, we have a Shahista from Paris who is uh, also sending her salam. Semina Chopra from uh, Maryland, Washington, USA. We have um, Mehboob Sivji from Toronto, Canada. Roshan and Fatima. Um, and then Zamina from Atlanta. Uh, Zamina, Sister Zamina says that, uh, Sister Shiroz, may this journey of yours uh, be highly spiritual and safe. Please keep me in your duas. I, uh, I have uh, been diagnosed with cancer and I have two small children. She's in Atlanta, Georgia. My disease is increasing, so I need to do more treatment. Please pray for, pray for me. Send my salams to our Imam, um, Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam as-salam alayka ya Amir al-Mu'mineen. Also to my Mawla Hazrat Abbas in Karbala when you go to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I beg for life so that I can do good deeds and uh, my children need me. They're very small. Please pray for our Imam's reappearance and for us to prepare and be counted in his helper. Sisters Amina, my du'as are with you uh, and my love uh, as well I stand here at this holy shrine and I beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant life to you uh, we need you your children need you uh, the uh, Islam needs you the community needs you Ya uh, Mu'mineen. Uh, we beg for life for this sister uh, even though she has been diagnosed with a cancer that is very difficult to to survive from but uh, you are the one who is mushkil kusha. You are the one who can make the impossible possible. Ya Ali, we look at the golden doors of your shrine right now. We look at the splendor. Uh, we look at uh, what a great king we have come to. Uh, you are a king who doesn't send anyone empty-handed. Ya Mawla, we come to you with, um, with tears in our eyes. Uh, we have Rosila Merali from Toronto. Shaheen from London. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Shaheen, can you hear me? Uh, wa alaikum salam. Sister Sharas, this is Nasira from London. Uh, did you say Misria? No, Nasira. Nasira from London. Thank you so much yeah. for calling, sister. Here we are standing at the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam, right behind me. Please send your salam to Imam yourself. Yes, please. I do have a hard time. Yes, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum ya Amir al Mu'minin al Islam. Ya Imam, Sister Nasira right now is expressing her hajat to you. We see the gold doors. Stand at that door right now in your heart, in your mind, Sister Nasira. Keep your hand on that door. Look at that zari. Uh, ya Ali, call this lover of yours to Najaf. Ya Ali, take away all her difficulties. Sister Nasira, would you like to say something to the zari right now? We're standing right in front of it. I think we've lost the call, but uh, we have your dua here, Sister Nasira. We are praying for you with all our hearts. We have Benazir uh, Jaffer and her and her husband, Ajaz Jaffer, from Toronto, Canada. And uh, they have said that, uh, that we are expecting our first child. We ask Imam Ali alayhi salam to bless our child to stay on the Sirat al mustaqim and uh, to be a lover of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Please pray for the healthy delivery of our child. Uh, the Sister Zinat Rasul from... Is it Manchester, I believe, who is asking that um, uh, our salams be conveyed, her salams be conveyed. Assalamu alaikum ya amir al-mu'mineen. We have uh, Sister Sabiha Dala from uh, Toronto and Seattle. Sister Shama Dala sending her salam uh, from, uh, to Najaf. Uh, ya amir al-mu'mineen, accept our salam and call us soon. Sister Tanweer Katao 
from Toronto, Canada. She says, uh, please pray for me under the dome of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and uh, Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Um, we have uh, Habib M. Habib and Sakina Habib, his wife from Seattle, Washington, who have said, please uh, um, send our salam to to Imam Ali alayhi salam. And we have a sister on the on, on our phone lines. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister, can you hear me? Please uh, send your salams to Imam. Uh, we have uh, sister, uh, Brother Rizwan from Toronto. Ziarat Kabul, please remember us in your du'as whenever possible. Rizwan Karim, uh, inshallah, uh, we uh, are also serving Imam here. Uh, please pray for us. We have Sister uh, Darifa from Birmingham who um, has uh, done extensive work uh, with the orphans here in Iraq. She asks that her salams also be conveyed. She's here in Najaf actually and says, please ask Imam Ali alayhi salam to give me tawfiq to continue to serve the orphans. Uh, oh, father of orphans, I do this in your name. Sister Darifa is also a revert who uh, um, with great, uh, great jihad um, has accepted the wilaya of Imam Ali alayhi salam and now has dedicated her life to serving the orphans of, uh, uh, of Najaf uh, of Iraq. We have uh, Brother Hasneen Ajani uh, from um, Mumbai who handles the Karbala Stories page on Facebook and uh, works very hard to do that. He says, um, our salams to Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Uh, we have Zainab Bukhari from New Jersey, uh, USA saying uh, our salams to um, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen. Uh, Wahida Barwani from Toronto, Canada sends her salam. Sister Hira Haider, her mom, her mom Amra Haider, and her entire family send a salam. Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, accept our salam. Please call us uh, soon to Najaf. Please accept our uh, salam and please take away our difficulty make it possible for us to have halal risk and to have success in our uh, education Ya yeah, Imam I'm looking for a man in my life who will be a helper in the faith and who will be a, um, a, a a hamsafar on the sirat al uh, Sister Hira, we pray for you to uh, to to get such a, a marriage proposal, inshallah. Sister Hira also says that um, she is a writer and a journalist and wants to dedicate her life to spreading the uh, message of the Ahlul Bayt salam. We ask Imam Ali salam to bless you in this endeavor. She also asks that uh, all her depression and her sadness and any uh, feeling of uh, of losing um, hope and despair uh, and feeling great despair that that be removed. We pray for you, Sister Zahira Bhalu from Toronto, Canada, says that I uh, lost a young son to cancer uh, many years ago, um, and I can I I still struggle. Uh, I miss him so much, uh, Sister Shiroz. Please uh, ask Imam Ali alayhi salam to help me to deal with this uh, with this hurt and to find sabr and to bless my other children uh, who are with me and who are mashallah with ha who have children now uh, please bless our entire family sisters are here we pray uh, for your uh, sabr inshallah we have sister Shermin Par uh, from paris uh, Shermin parishta who asks uh, that imam ali alayhi salam call her soon fozia from pakistan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam uh, my mother like to come to visit uh, Imam Ali Rosa. You need to pray for my mother. Yes, yeah, Ali. Uh, there is a mother who is craving to come and touch your dari. Yeah, Imam, please call her as soon as possible to Najaf. Continue. Yeah, and uh, she is always crying. She said, "I have my wishes to come here, and my brother don't have a uh, baby. They want baby, and uh, the other." Two brother, one baby, and uh, you will uh, pray for them. They get baby. 
Uh, we pray that uh, all those who do not have children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fills their laps with the babies, with the wasila of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Sister Fozia's uh, brother, uh, two brothers, is it, that they are waiting for uh, the good news. So inshallah, Ya Ali, uh, with uh, Ya Ali, Mother Allah Jayab, the one who can do the impossible, who can do mojiza, um, bless these families with uh, with the awlad salihin um, and uh, very soon, Ya Ali, Ya Ali. Yeah, Ali. And my brother died. He's uh, died, and my father also died. And pray for them to go a uh, good place. You know? Yeah, Imam uh, Sister Fozia is remembering right now her her brother and her father who passed away. We pray that their uh, souls are here in Wadi Salam in Najaf. Ya yeah, Ali, uh, grant them a place in Jannah with your intercession. Uh, we uh, ask you to meet them at the Hawze Kothar and uh, give them water with your own hands. I mean. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. you, Sister Fauzia. We pray for you as well, your own hajat, whatever it is that Imam. I I want one more boy. Yes. <laughs> you have. Uh, we pray for you, uh, Sister Fauzia. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala accepts your hajat and calls you. Um, we um, also uh, would like to invite anybody else to, who wants to call us from anywhere in the world. Uh, we await your calls uh, and uh, would love to hear from you. Uh, the ziyarat of Imam Ali alayhi salam that we recite here in the uh, in the in the shrine is uh, is an indication of the kind of mojiza that Imam Ali alayhi salam can do and the uh, the status of Imam Ali alayhi salam. So uh, I would like to share with you some of those. Peace be with the father of the imams, the friend of prophethood, and the one singled out as the brother of the prophets. Peace be with the king of religion and faith, who is the work of the merciful God. Peace be with the scale of divine justice by which human actions will be judged, the changer of situations, and the sword of the possessor of augustness, the cup bearer of the heavenly foundation. So, uh, sub subhanallah, as soon as I finish saying the cup bearer of the heavenly fountain, we have Sister Kauther on the line from UK. Sister Kauther, assalamu alaikum. Do you hear me, Sister Kauther? Peace be with the most virtuous of the believer. The um, uh, on behalf of my parents, Sayyidah uh, Kauther for me. Uh, Sayyid Tafi Hussain, um, my brother Sayyid Tafi Hussain. Subhanallah. Send your salams to Imam. Assalamu alaikum, ya Amir al Mu'mineen. Right behind me uh, is the shrine, and here we see the golden doors. Sister Kothar, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the, uh, the invitation from Imam Ali alayhi salam to come stand um, here at um, this very shrine. Pray that you also um, uh, undertake ziyara as well in the future, inshallah. Ameen, ameen. Thank you so much, um, Sister Kothar. Anything else you would like to, any hajat? Thank you, thank you so much. Brothers and sisters from all over the world, we are uh, happy to hear from you. Please continue to call us. Uh, inshallah, um, we will continue this uh, program tomorrow as well. We'll be live again from the uh, shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam. And after that, uh, I will be leaving for Karbala. And inshallah, we will be having some live programs from the Zari of Imam Hussain and Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam as well with your duas. Please uh, pray that we can make this happen. Uh, there are often the difficulties here when we come to the shrine to even uh, start uh, filming. Uh, many, many things have to fall into place we need your dua so that we can make this happen for you I want to thank especially the crew uh, that uh, that does this filming the the those who are in the control room uh, we have uh, the personnel from Karbala TV who help uh, those who are uh, working for Safir TV the sister channel and we want to thank the crew members for uh, spending so many hours here behind the camera, uh, doing the sound in the control room and uh, carrying heavy equipment, uh, ensuring that uh, we get the, part, uh, the uh, permission from the shrine and from the uh, the head offices, etc. Uh, the the workers in UK um, and uh, the workers here in uh, on the ground in in, uh, Naj in Najaf and Karbala. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless these khadim of Imam Hussein. Uh, we pray that we can also kiss the door uh, leading to the shrine, just like this. 
that we can also stand at that door and knock on it and say, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, here I stand at your door, uh, kissing the floor, kissing this wall. Ya Ali, accept this lover of yours who has traveled from far and wide to come to this place ya ali don't let this be the last time that i come and stand at your threshold ya ali call us again and again let us stand and see this beautiful sight in front of us ya ali all these who are coming to you with so much love who are uh, flocking to the grave and trying to touch it and who are begging for their hajat. Ya Ali, do not let them go empty-handed. Accept their salam, accept their love. Witness how much they love you. We ask the angels who are uh, circumambulating around the, uh, the, the blessed grave of Imam Ali alayhi salam. These angels bear witness that we are all standing here. Oh, angels. Uh, take our uh, salam to Imam, O oh, angels. Uh, allow us to be able to uh, to uh, to come back again and again. So here we have some messages uh, that I'm going to be, inshallah, reading out. To, uh, Subhanallah. We have uh, Sister uh, Saleha and Fakhiha uh, Badami from Mumbai. On the auspicious birth anniversary of the commander of faithful Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, please convey our salams and tell Imam to call us to his shrine. May Imam call us to his shrine with you, Sister Shiroz. Thank you so much. I love this dua. I'm included in it. Thank you so much, Sister uh, uh, Saliha and Fakhiha from Mumbai. May Imam call us to his shrine with you. May you have makbul ziyarat, Apa. Uh, we await you. Uh, please come back to Mumbai. Uh, we want to hear you recite majlis once again. Subhanallah. Thank you so much, uh, sisters, for such a lovely message. Assalamu alaikum. Please send my salutation. Um, this is... Uh, uh, they're saying that the phone lines keep dropping and we ha we want to um, say so much. Please send my salutation to Imam Ali Abi Talib alayhi salam. May Allah make life easy for all Muslims ummah from the love and mercy he has for the household of our Prophet and Ahlul Bayt. Um, um, Sister Shiroz, uh, please read my message. I'm uh, Ruhi from London. Uh, my salams to Mullah Ali. I beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease the pain of all people suffering in war-torn countries. I mean, um, if we can have, could you, uh, we have no time. If you can go to the Safir page, and then I could read some of those messages. Uh, we have run out of time. But inshallah, we will uh, be back tomorrow at uh, uh, 10 p.m. Iraq time. Uh, we inshallah we will read your messages please pray for internet signals to stay with us so that we can continue to read your messages there are some poetries that uh, people have written so many messages that i have received that i would like to also read out continue to write to safir tv on their facebook page and do call us keep trying uh, those who uh, managed to get in were the ones dialing just when the signal was working out so <laughs> uh, you might be that person the lucky one keep dialing and uh, do we have any any minutes left or time is over? We send our um, heartfelt salams to Imam Ali alayhi salam. Uh, Assalamu alayka ya amirul mu'mineen. Uh, ya waliullah. Ya, uh, um, uh, Imam, please call us again to these shrines. Uh, this is Zakira Shiroz signing off from the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam for Safir TV in Najaf on the 13th of Rajab. Inshallah, we'll see you tomorrow uh, from this very place again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.